So this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising, weekly tarot, love and, and relationship tarot reading. Um, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. And in case uh, any of you wants to get in touch with me for a, a private reading, or you want to check your career tarot reading for that very same week, uh, both links of my website and link to the other video for Leo for this week can be found in the description down below. So with that being said, um, going straight away to the spread now the first card which represents the topic of your uh, relationship week or yeah of the week in regards to relationship is going to be the two of wands followed by the second card here which stands for the uh, energies which are supporting the topic itself that is going to be the seven of wands Followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. And we do have quite sort of a, a tense situation here. The Knight of Wands is that. Afterwards, it is the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week in regards to, to a relationship and love. That is going to be the Nine of Cups. The fifth one, it is how your partner... Uh, your personal of interest, friends and friend, family sees you, that is going to be the Emperor card. The uh, sixth one stand as uh, what can help your long-term relationship goals throughout this week, and that is going to be the Nine of Wands. Followed by the next one here, which is what can um, hurt your long-term relationship goals, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. And the last one is going to be judgment, which is the guidance that Tara is offering. And the first thing that made my impression here, we do have a, a fiery reading. The only card that it is not a fire element, it is the gifts and the blessings. So itself, that kind of speaks, uh, the gifts and the blessings, you have to uh, kind of hug them like there is no tomorrow because that is going to be your oasis yeah like your safe heaven okay for throughout the week because a fiery relationship reading uh, it's very very intense and not in a bad way okay it is just there is way too much to handle anyway so um the first card, which is the topic here, two of wands, and the energies which are surrounding the topic. There is um, no other way to say it, uh, or no other way to see it. We are definitely talking of a kind of exterior influence. And looking at the third card, most likely a third party, third person. It's trying to either hit on you or it's going to try to hit on your person of interest or it's going to try to hit on your partner, wife, husband. It doesn't really matter. So what the topic is itself is with the two of wands is to oppress authority. Two of wands relationship, it is a about demands. It is a about ultimatums. It is a about holding the steeds tightly, you know, and dictating the direction that the chariot is going to go forward at. Now, the energies are very difficult to overcome in that particular stance here with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is generally a very difficult card to overcome. It's because it does require a readiness for action immediately. You do not suspect, as soon as you suspect something, you address it. You do not keep a silent treatment for it. For example, Let's say you suspect that your partner cheats on you. Now, instead of going to astrologers, tarot readers, numerologers uh, to kind of have a second guess for it, you just address it immediately. It may not be true, but if it is true, if you hesitate, you kind of miss the moment and that thing escalates. So these are very, very violent energies that can be used in your advantage here. It is just you have to be extremely agile when it comes to uh, yeah, agile and, and subtle with your actions and with the moments that you scope how to control. It's, it's really about control, how to control and dominate over the relationship um, or over the interaction with your personal interest, interest throughout that week. Why? 
uh, it is the question. Well, because with the two of ones, it looks like that you and whomever you are into right now, you have um, achieved something. It may be a small thing, but yet it is something. And there is a, a potential that thing to grow. It may be a big thing, it may be a small thing, it will be different for every single one of you, but there is a potential for that thing to grow and it's gonna be a shame to throw it away just because you are indecisive, okay? So yeah, I could say at the end, yeah, good progress is made, but that progress should not stop here. And right now the ball is in your turf. So challenges, uh, we do have that person and uh, the, the Knight of Wands is a person challenging you in a relationship that is a player, really. And it's not someone that has a very serious intentions. It's all a game for this one here. It is because that one tries his options right now or kind of like waging its options, okay? And uh, while, let's say they are trying to hit on you, while they are a sweet talkers, they may not mean what they say. But you need to know that once one, either you, your person of interest, or you know, your husband or your wife budges through, uh, they're not, they're gonna bite like a pit bull and they're not gonna leave at the side. It may be just an affair for them. It may, they may not have a serious intentions, but they are not gonna give up the affair lightly as well. And that's why you, Leo, need to address your suspicious your yeah suspiciousness immediately you suspect something you address it otherwise once again things may escalate to a point where um, there is to a point of no return really so the other card represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy uh, throughout the week in regards to career and uh, in regards to relationship and love and that is the nine of cups so nine of cups love wise it is like a well it's it's sensual joy and it is a well i hate saying it but as a gift and blessing if that doesn't mean wish fulfillment i don't know what it means that is your gift and that is your blessing but that's the thing with the nine of cups that it is very unstable card what I mean here is that you have to do something to sustain it as well. As soon as you kind of start experiencing this sensual joy, wish fulfillment, exhilaration and all these kind of stuff with your partner, with your husband, you know, with a person of interest, you need to maintain that performance. You need to maintain that routine. So say you experience great joy having a dinner with this person, well, you need to keep up scheduling dinners, right? That thing needs to be secured, whatever, uh, you know, the source of that gift and blessing is for you. And that way, uh, you are gonna get serious upper hand, serious advantage over your competitor here, which is the Knight of Wands. The other card, it is how people see you, how your partner sees you, how your husband or wife sees you, you know, how your person of interest sees you. That is the emperor. And with the emperor, it will differentiate. Now, it does depend, are you in a relationship or not right now? So for those who are in relationship, the emperor means that this person sees you as someone completely fitted to dive into serious life moving forward into direction so it's pretty much people um, that people see you as a uh, someone who figured everything out have a plan have a structure and uh, it is determined in generally it is determined to sustain the relationship whatever the cost is going to be so people sees you that you do care now if you are single however the uh, the impression is the same but also it is the impression is of a, a very strong individual and that may scare off your person of interest. They see you as a very strong, unyielding, unwavering, you know, someone who acts, uh, acts, does thing without make, things without making compromises, which is the definition of a strong person. And they may get scared, right? And they may waver. So it does depend once again, are you single or not? 
Now the other card here, uh, just one second guys, to uh, get the camera on my watch. So the other, um, the other card here it is what you can do in order to further your long-term goal relationship-wise. That is the Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands, uh, in this particular case, um, urges you to, well, that is a Alistair Crowley explanation, really. And it is a about the bond in between the, the, the opposites. It's like the bond in between the male and the female. And what the card points is whenever you have a chance at least to me what 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 it would mean here is whenever you have a chance to make sex with your partner or with your interest you do it you do not decline okay because that may be exactly the factor that pushes them away they may think that they are unwanted anymore that, that they don't um, ignite any passion in you anymore you know and that may kind of like push them to seek the, uh, the physiological needs from someone else. Now, the other card here, it is what uh, can hurt your long-term goals. And that is the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands here points that while you have to establish control right now over the interaction with your person of interest or over the relationship with your partner, that doesn't mean that you have to be tyrannical, okay? So while you have to um, address issues, make demands, those demands or ultimatums kind of should never kind of cross a certain line, all right? And that line is pretty much already established. Once again, it's going to be different for every single Leo and situation that Leo is in uh, at that particular point. In other words, do not kill the emotions that are still in, uh, in this interaction or in this relationship. And the last one, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering and that is uh, the judgment. So judgment is the kicker here and it does point that a resolution to this whole drama situation is going to be find out. Uh, one way or the other. Uh, the judgment it is like uh, that you, you you can't find solutions to your problems relationship wise that is and suddenly either through an insight or through faithful circumstances this solution comes around. So I hate to say it but it, this is how it looks like to me that it is going to happen you know you will have some suspicious uh, uh, suspicious towards your partner or towards your a uh, person of interest those uh, whatever you suspect for uh, is going to be proven true you're gonna end up disappointed and at the end of the day um, it does look like that um, the person that disappointed you will try to make up for you and they are going to be able to okay so give another chance that is to me what the judgment here tells us so yeah, that being said, Leo, this was your weekly love and, and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed for December 23rd to December 29, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.